Hi, this is an optional video telling how I made the conversion from uh, percent transmittance that you got from the spectrophotometer to um, a parts per million of dye um, in the water or in the enzyme solution or you could say um, milliliters of dye per milliliter of water. What I did first was I made uh, some standards. Um, when it's a known value in uh, that you're making on purpose, you can call it a standard. Um, there is a, a estimation of about 20 drops equals one milliliter. So that I know that for a starter, that's what I'm using as my starting assumption. And I made solutions that were three drops in 100 milliliters of water and then one drop in 100 milliliters of water, half a drop, so on and so forth. And I did this by carefully making uh, the initial solution, and then I kept cutting it in half. And then once I had these standards, um, known amounts of dye in my water, I very carefully um, used spectrophotometer number 328, and I uh, got data for each of those samples. And then I um, plotted the data, actually, and um, got a very good fit to the um, uh, curve here. And that's the equation for the curve. Oh, by the way, so the milliliters of dye per milliliters of water is just created by converting 20 drops equals 1 milliliter. So therefore, for example, um, one drop would be 0.05 milliliters, but that's in 100 milliliters of water, so I divided it to be one milliliter of water. Again, if you want me to go more slowly through the math on how I did that, I'm perfectly happy to. Um, just let me know and I'll do that. But just so you can get the sense of, of the conversions. Then using this equation here, I just uh, put it into the, made a formula so that you can type in here uh, whatever value you got, transmittance value you got, let's just say 69. And that gives me, based on this equation, it gives me the, um, the value I uh, would have calculated, or the theoretical value for the amount of dye per one milliliter of water, which is 0 0.0001. And here the actual value is 0 0.0001. So since my experimental readings and the kind of the equation, the model, aren't exact, right, some of these data points are just very slightly off of the line, um, my uh, calculated result is going to be very slightly different from my experimental result, but close. Therefore, with that information, I can then just by using the, the equation here, I can uh, create a uh, spreadsheet like this so that you students can just uh, type in 69 here and get a result here, 0 0.0001, so 1.1 one time, 1 .1 times 10 to the negative fourth, 0 0.0001, which I can then convert to parts per million by multiplying it by 1 million. So in a nutshell, that is how I made this conversion um, program.